Excuse me? Hello? I didn't reset the game. Mr. Rossetti, please don't hurt me. Or my family, for that matter. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I don't think we've met before, Rossetti, but thank you. You're welcome, but I didn't buy it. Thanks. <laughs> I bought it, like, ten years ago, but also thank you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's get down to business. You may not know, but we got issues you got to assess. Let me tell you what it is I'm doing here. Just some misunderstandings later on. I didn't reset the game. I don't know what you're talking about. No? Did you say that you're right? N no, I didn't say you're right. I said that you're wrong. Ah, Jesus. I know. Resetting's bad. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't reset my game. Dolphin's dumb. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 Just please don't hurt my family and we're okay with this Rossetti. Thank you. Yeah, good. Okay, cool cool. Rossetti! Oh my god! Shut up! Holy crap! He just laughed at me. Well, I feel berated now. Hello everybody, welcome to Animal Crossing Episode 3. We're going to try to beat the entire game. I've said that every single time. Ooh, it looks like our house is done. Let's go check in on the inside real quick. See what's going on on the inside. Oh, we got some furniture to rearrange. Kind of go all Danny Phantom and rearrange these molecules here. Alright, I'm going to put that there. Let's put the shirt down here. And we can move this tape deck all the way over to the right. All right, looks good. Let's go to our mailbox and see who sent us some good letters. I'm hoping it's something good. Oh, we got one from the museum. Thank God. That means we can finally start sending fossils. I really need that. And from the HRA. Thank you for joining the Happy Room Academy. We'll be monitoring your progress as you try to turn your home into a masterpiece of decorating. Oh, a masterpiece of style. Happy decorating the Happy Room Academy. Well, thank you kindly, Happy Room Academy. But we got some letters to write to the museum, and we're not going to go any hostage letters or anything this time. We're just going to go straight up. Just spam start in A, and... Whoop, that's the wrong way. And just get these letters written. Get our fossils put in so we can get these fossils put away. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to donate the fossils or I'm going to sell them for profit. Because you can get a darn good profit for uh, selling these. So we might do that early on and later down the line. I see, it's getting a little wet. But later down the line, we will definitely... Start building up our museum so we can finish it and get some stuff out of that. Ooh, there's some good stuff in the dump. Number five shirt and a number two shirt. Okay, cool. I don't need numbers, so I'll probably sell those. All right, let's go talk to Pelly. Pelly? Is her name Pelly? Is it Peggy? Pelly? Pelly? Pelly. Mail letter. Can I multi-select letters? Nope, but I can hit... I can exit out of stuff. All right, well, nope, we'll just have to send one by one. If I had five letters, I'd be able to send them all out now. But we can just wait. The game plays itself. And it'll send the letters for me whenever five o'clock comes around today. Because internal clock is cool. Mail. Send. I really like this shirt. It's a really cool shirt. I don't think I've ever seen it before in this game. So it's kind of nice that I got lucky enough to get a shirt I've never seen before. Because I've seen a lot of the shirts. Like the number two and number five and the Guy Fieri shirt with the flames on it. Alrighty, let's go get a good check on our boy, Tom Nook. Alright, you dumb raccoon, what do you got for me? How do you like the new house? I love it. It's so big, Nook. Thank you so much. It's much more spacious. Boy, how much is this going to cost me? Dry rot issue and the mammal strike? Whoa, 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 whoa. How did that all happen within 24 hours? I doubt you that you had a mammal strike in 24 hours. It's going to come out to 148,000 bells. Jesus. Pay it through the post office. It's no problem. Dead built character. And that's what you think, you dirty raccoon. God. My man is literally just peeling things from the people, and I will not stand for it any longer. Actually, I need to sell some shirts to you, Nook. All right. We picked up a fossil all along the way. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> we picked up a fossil all along the way, so we can now get a couple more letters. And we can get them shipped out now, which would be really nice. And then we can get the money rock, which I will not. It's 160 bells. It's 160 bells. And I have 158. I'm two bells short. All right. 
we'll have to get the money rock a little early and uh, I promise no montage this time. I liked the montage last time just because it took me every rock in the city. But hopefully we find it quicker next time and I'll just get to that. There we go. It took a little longer than I expected, but we actually got to it. Thankfully, I'm spamming the A button as fast as humanly possible. There we go. As I said, that other little slot never really fi never fills up with uh, any bell bags, but that's okay. Maybe if we get the golden shovel, which we'll have to go check on our tree here because I forgot to check on it. Um... We can hopefully get more money out of there because we can drop bigger bags out of the money rock if we get more. So definitely have to check that out. Let's see what our grand total comes up to. It's looking like around 12,400 something is what we're going to end up having, which is a good amount of money. I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. We also found two fossils. I think we found the first fossil already and a hamster cage buried. I think someone must have posted on the community billboard about a hamster cage. And that is what... I found it because of so let's go check on our tree and see if there's any new people in our town oh no oh he's dead oh god he's dead oh all right let's throw some f's in the chat down for our boy let's just sit here and have a moment of silence for our poor golden tree thank you now we have to dig up his body, <laughs> which is, uh, we're just gonna get another, we'll just have to go get a, uh, another, uh, shovel. Thank God he has a shovel and a net in stock today, but unfortunately, it's, since it's raining again, there aren't gonna be very, very, very many bugs out. I think bugs only come out when it's, uh, like, the sun's out, or maybe it's cloudy, not when it's raining, I know that. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to catch any bugs today, maybe hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to, and hopefully tomorrow we'll have a fishing rod, because it's gonna, it's gonna be our main source of of money for the rest of the game so that'll be pretty good also found out there we do have somebody new on our uh our town list so let's go uh introduce ourselves and uh let's see how uh how they like it around here all right and i think this is uh oh it's a tiger oh it's bangle don't be so nervous when you're trying to make a good first impression does cuteness intimidate you no but if it does that's kind of weird name is bangle isn't a cute name grouf i don't like that Oh, pfft, says my name isn't cute, and I'll show you cute. So we got Bangle into our town now. That's not the button I wanted to press. Um, so we got Bangle next to Lay, and we got Wolfgang, Bill and Mallory, and Doc and Bessie. So we got everybody. We got one new villager day, which is really nice. And uh, let's go see if uh, Nook will let me buy things from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't, don't give me the whole song and dance here, Nook. I know what you're up to. That creepy doll in the background, I will not buy. Let's see what kind of wallpaper we got. Please be modern. That'd be so cool. Let's see it before I buy it. Uh, no? It kind of looks like garbage. What's the flooring? I'm going to guarantee this is the one I had. It's nearly the steel flooring that I already had. So we are not going to buy that. But we are going to buy a net. He's going to explain how to use the net. I swear to God. I know how to use a net, Nook. All right. And let's get ourselves a shovel. I swear to God, he's going to add and tell me how the shovel works again. I'm going to flip my... Ugh. Alrighty, we got to find a good place to bury our shovel. So let's take this. Oh, the new shovel. And I feel like this is like a good area. Like maybe like right here would be good. So I think we're going to put him right here. Hey guys, did you think that I forgot? Because I totally did. I need to find one of those glowing spots to put him in. So I'm going to go find one real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, look, it's uh, that uh, pelican dude, Gulliver. Oh, the pain, the horrible pain, the gastrointestinal pain. I'm sorry. Hey, can you, like, wake up, dude? I'm going to need you to get up here. There you go. Nice. What a great nap. What is it, 2019? This means he's been asleep for over 150 years. Oh, 150 minutes, which seems like a long time. Name's Gulliver. Now then, where did I wash up this time? How I ended up here? Store and a half. Let's see. You on your boat? The Krusty Barnacle. That sounds weird. I don't like that at all. Yep, he drowned, and oh, they might have pushed him overboard. Jesus, people are trying to murder my man in a mutiny. Okay, give me, oh, yes, give me that piece of furniture. So every time we find him on the sea, he's going to give us a valuable piece of furniture. So let's see what we get this time. I don't care about your story, Mark Oliver. You gave me what I wanted. I don't need anything else now. Okay, so he gave us this. Oh, it's a pagoda. That's pretty cool. It's one of those uh, Japanese-style buildings. 
So that's pretty nice. I still can't find the glowing spot. I've been searching for quite a while now, so maybe I'll have to try again another day, because I'm not actually sure if it spawns every single day. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure if it spawns every day, so we're going to have to nix this idea for now. But there is one special thing that I want to show you guys, and I'm going to go over there right now so we can check it out. You know what's really funny? Is that as soon as you stop looking for something, you find it. We found the glowing spot. We get ourselves a thousand bells. We're going to bury this shovel right in the ground here and hope to God that it turns into the golden shovel tree tomorrow. Well, let it, uh, let's just hope. Let's hope. Let's get some hope in here, please. All right, let's go check out the special thing that I found. And here it is. Every single day, there's a chance for somebody to come into town. And today, we got Gracie Grace, the original Grace. I think he's a guy in this game. He is. In the other games, it, it's a girl. So that's that's the first like gender change that they did in this game. So that's pretty cool. All right. I have a very classic style. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, God. Do I, I, I have to wash the car, don't I? Oh, God. All right, I think we have to spam A, so prepare for me to spam as many buttons as humanly possible, guys. You're not going to like this. All right, here we go. Oh, we're ready. Oh, remove my right hand as quickly as possible. Wait, do I spam A for this? I think I spam A for this. Yes, we do. Oh, we going. Oh, we going. Oh, we going. We got this. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on, wash that car. Ooh. A so-so job? What the hell are you talking about? I spammed the mess out of that, dude. How tired my man was. Ugh. Man, I wanted an original design. The yellow bar shirt. What does it even look like, Gracie? This looks like garbage. I look like I look like a half a lemon. I don't want that garbage anymore. I'm actually kind of winded. Good God, hitting that is pretty good. You know what? Eat. Yeah, this is what your car. This is what you need. Fuck your car. Come on. Screw your car. Let's do it. Get it out of here. Forget your car. All right. What do I need to do? Um, let's go decorate the house a little bit. All right, let's see where we can put some of this stuff. I think I'm gonna get rid of this notepad back here. No one ever uses these things anymore. We're gonna plop ourselves our hamster cage right on top of there. Oh, look at him go. Look at that 2D, that, that, uh, that little pixel art little guy. Look at him go. He's gonna be in here for a while. And we have a pagoda, which I'm gonna put on this wall. I believe that's a good idea. Oh, that's so cool looking. It actually matches the house with the brown on the walls and the black on the floor, it's like a blackish blue. And we can put one of our shirts down on this side. Even though it looks like half a lemon, it's still gonna make for some good space up in the room. And hopefully on Saturday, we can go to KK Slider at night. So we'll record a night episode. We'll go to KK Slider at night and get us a music track that we can actually have in this house. I would really, really like having that because I want some music in the house and I love KK Slider. All right, let's write these last letters to the museum. Let's put our fossils in. I still don't understand how this dino mail works because how do you put in giant old fossils that turn into like T-Rex bones and these little envelopes? These better be like big like military grade boxes at this point. All right, Pelly, let me give you one of these letters to get rid of and then we'll go outside and hit the other guy in the head with something if I can. All right, so I can't put any more mail in but I am gonna grab this, put this on so when I go outside we can see Gulliver, not Gulliver, whatever his name is, take it away. Ah, oh, I wanted to hit him with my net. And there he goes. Man, my boy is flying off screen. All right, let's go send in our last letter because all the letters should be gone now. Just so we have, just so we know it's going to be, all of these are going to be back tomorrow, which is going to be kind of insane. We're going to have six fossils to sell tomorrow, which should hopefully total about 20,000 bells. Which would be really nice because that could put us a good chunk in to our... Our budget, actually, I should go back in and pay off my debt because I don't want anything, I have nothing else to buy. We'll probably leave like a thousand bells in my inventory just for stuff tomorrow. Yeah, I know how much I owe, don't remind me. So we're gonna get rid of, oh, sorry. We're gonna get rid of 12,198 12, bells. Sorry, it needs to be 298 bells. I'll leave us with a cool 1K and have 35,000 bells, 135,000 bells left to pay off 
Oh dear God, I am not looking forward to that. So today we got ourselves a net, we got ourselves our money rock, we replanted our golden tree, uh, we got some more pear trees grown, which is really good, really excited for that, and we got some, got some good stuff coming. Hopefully, hopefully, I pray that tomorrow we have a fishing rod, because then we can really get started to making money, and you know, your boy needs a lot of money. Alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching, getting your daily dose of vitamin P, if you guys want more daily doses of vitamin P, please check out the rest of the videos on my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out, and take care.